we just got pummeled with the biggest storm of the season. How you doing? A little crazy today. And this storm has put us to the test. I just locked myself out of the tractor somehow. That's exactly what I did. Today is a balance of work. Glue is about to overpower the smell of the poo in here. Perfect. Perfect. Glue over poo! <laughs> and play. Like an archaeologist. <laughs> yeah. And we're powering through against the odds. And I think Trenton Bra Oh my goodness! Oh. To get one step closer to four-way. <laughs> my butt's tired. And surviving this winter. The clouds and the wind. It's not looking too promising. Well, I guess it's safe to say that we had a massive storm last night. It's supposed to snow the rest of the day, but it looks like it's stopped momentarily, at least for right now. Look at the bumper to the truck. The bumper to the truck is like at the level of the snow. And this is our snow blower. You should have seen Frank this morning. Yeah, Frank the fish. Yeah. Let me see. On a year that has nothing but record-breaking storms, we have had a record-breaking storm. It is like the biggest storm we've had this year. There is multiple feet outside. If you caught our last video, you watched us try to come home in like two plus feet of snow, and there's another like six to eight inches this morning. So that's our snowblower, completely buried in snow. And I probably need knee-high boots to get to the tractor, and my boots will probably be full of snow by the time I get to the tractor. But First thing I'm doing this morning is I'm heading out to snow blow our driveway so that uh, Sydney can get into the driveway and we can get out if we need to. Should be an eventful morning. Yeah, my, my house is covered in snow. Life is a winding road. Just uh, go ahead, take the day off. Maybe take your kids sledding or something. All right, sounds good. Have a good one. All right, bye. All right, well, I just gave Brandon the day off. I guess his sons don't have school today and it's like a massive snow day. So perfect day for him to take his kids sledding or build a snowman or play with his kids in the snow. We have so much snow here. It's probably gonna take me two hours to get the snow blowing done on our driveway so that Sydney can make it up here. And uh, let's just say Today is probably the perfect day to go snowmobiling. So once I get the driveway cleared, I'm gonna try and get the snowmobile out, get it loaded in the truck. I'm gonna try and meet some of my friends, and I'm gonna take you guys with me while I go snowmobiling. Even if the sky's falling down, even if the sky's falling down, sky is falling down. There's just so much snow. This is insane. locked myself out of the tractor somehow. That's exactly what I did. Uh, luckily there's another side. That's as far as I can open the door right there. So I'm gonna have to try and squeeze myself through that crack. Yeah. Uh. Ah, it's so cold. Ah. Exactly sure how it happened, but uh, that 
it's not supposed to spin. It's supposed to be stuck like that one. Broke a shear pin. Perfect. Go get him, Lincoln. A lot of snow, huh? A little crazy today. Hello. Hello. I've been checking my phone like every five minutes, like, oh, any minute now, Sydney's gonna need some help. I wanna make sure we're ready. I thought it was gonna get stuck, but I was like, I can't get stuck. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, it is. Yeah. It's Sydney. Yay. Frank is just hanging out at the top of the stairs eating snow. Lika's bounding through the snow. There's a lot of snow this morning, but uh, I've got to find a shear pin for this so that I can keep snow blowing. I think I might have one left of that size. Lucky. No. Also, if you guys didn't catch one of our previous videos where I was dealing with the problems with the snowblower, it's because I didn't use the recommended shear pin. So if you're ever in a situation where you have to use a specific shear pin, I highly recommend using the correct shear pin. Would have saved me a lot of trouble. Ah! But we are back at it. We're gonna finish snowball in the driveway now. We got home last night at like maybe 9 p.m. or something like that, and there was already multiple feet of snow in the driveway. After we got home, this is how much snow fell on top of the truck after that. The truck had no snow on it when we arrived, so it is really snowing. And as you can see, it started snowing again. It's supposed to snow all day into tonight. This is a gnarly storm. Not the time for this. Ugh. Come on. I opened up this door this morning. Yeah. And I started the tractor. Yeah. And I hit the lock button on the door. Oh, scary. And then I closed the door. How'd you get back in? To get in that door, and it was like very tight. <laughs> so with this much snow, I've got to like take advantage of it. Yesterday we went skiing. There was not this much snow. Now that there's all this snow, I've got some friends that are going snowmobiling today and I've got a snowmobile. So I'm going to try and go snowmobiling with them. I do have one problem though. As all of this snow melts and all of the water runs into the garage, it flattens out because it's water and then it freezes. <laughs> My snowmobile is encased in ice. Oh no. So, I'm gonna have to use a pick. I'm gonna have to chisel it out and try to get the snowmobile free, but just come look at it. As you come in here, Whoa. you can see that this is basically, it's like a lake bed. It's really crazy, because if you look right here, you can see straight through the ice because it's just frozen clear water, exactly like a lake bed. And you can see that like three, four inches down there, there is some gravel. There's like leaves. Yeah, there's things that are encased in there. Yeah. Very, very slippery. That's crazy. And if you come over here and you look, the bottom of the ski oh my God. for my snowmobile is encased in that ice. <laughs> so you need a torch. I'm going to go grab a pick. I'll be right back. Archaeologist. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is the tip of a ski from an early 2000s ski. 
ski Polaris snowmobile. <laughs> Whoa. getting in a workout this morning. It's still snowing hard. At least it's nice and soft and light right now. So it's pretty easy to move. There's just a lot of it. Whew, but I am winded. Oh, those stairs get me every time. We uh, moved Sydney's Jeep so that we could plow around it. Now I think it's stuck. So we're trying to move it back into the driveway in a safe spot, but we have to tow it out first. Whew. What's the deal here? Uh, Sydney's Jeep is stuck in the neighbor's driveway, so I've got to go hook a strap up to her and kind of yank it out. You're, you're not upset about it? You're gonna have to drive it. Oh, okay, that's fine. It's a stick. I know. I'm not scared. Okay. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, it ain't that long. All right, so this will be really easy. The truck's really heavy, that's really light. So I'm basically just gonna walk it forward and you're just gonna idle this direction. recovery of Sydney's Jeep. Now that Trent has spent the last three hours moving some snow, he's ready to start his day. She's parked in the driveway, the snowmobile is loaded up. And strapped? And strapped. And the only thing left to do now is go and have some fun. All right, just be super, super careful today. A lot of fresh snow. Don't hurt yourself. Don't also, I want to I want to get your guys' opinion. Um, a really nice avalanche pack is like $1,500. Do you think I should risk getting stuck in an avalanche without an avalanche pack, or do you think I should spend $1,500? It's like, that's a lot of money for something that could save your life. 99% of the time, nothing's ever gonna happen, but like that 1% of the time, you're really glad that you spent the money and got like the nice protective equipment. So I'd like you guys to leave a comment and let me know whether you think I should go get an avalanche pack or not. My two cents? Yeah. I'm like the cheapest person in the world, and I 100% think that you should spend the money it's not worth the risk to not have it. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Boots. All right, I got boots, helmet, onesie, gloves, hood, cameras. I think we're ready to rock. I'm gonna tell you that I love you 100 times a day. All right, well, we made it out here. You can't tell by the camera, it is extremely windy out here and pretty low visibility because of the clouds. Oh my God. Help. What do you think?
think? Should we ride here? I'm just thinking we're gonna be in a little bit more dense timber. We might we're break up the wind. The gully too. I'm fine to ride here. It's not that bad once we're geared up. I mean, this place is always windy. Let's just ride here. We can get, we can get up in. Well, needless to say, these are not ideal conditions for snowmobiling or really just anything. A guy just pulled up with a horse trailer, but I'm assuming there's snowmobiles inside it. This is a winter recreational area. It's called Strawberry River. It's right next to Strawberry Reservoir, way up in the mountains in Utah. And uh, the snow is gonna be amazing. However, it's really cold. It's extremely windy. The wind is blowing the fresh snow and there's clouds. So visibility is low, but we're gonna get geared up here. I'm gonna unload my sled. We're gonna go out and get some turns in and uh, hopefully we don't freeze to death. All right, I think we've got everything set up here, ready to go, everyone's geared up. My sled is running, everyone else has gotta get their sleds going. I'm gonna throw this GoPro in the sled and try to film while we're out there a little bit. We'll see if this content turns out or not because with the clouds and the wind, it's not looking too promising. I've got a ton of gravel in my shoes. Girl on my shoulders. in the dirt. Down in the I look like a freaking caveman. All right, we made it back to the trailer. I think I have frostbite on at least three of my fingers because it was really cold. It's probably like 15 degrees, but with like the wind chill and when you're riding and we were probably like a couple miles out on the way back, even though there's heated grips, like the inside of your hand is warm, the outside of your hand is freezing. So it was a very eventful day. We had a lot of fun out here. There's a full moon on the rise tonight. Oh. <sighs> anyway, I think uh, I'm gonna head into town to get some food, take it up to Alley, and see what's going on. You're taking off, brother. It's been a pleasure, my friend. Thanks, woogity, for, woogity, woogity, woogity. thanks for having me. Oh, man. Thank you Good guys. Time, it was a great day. That's, that's rocket power. I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah. We just got everything loaded up, got the snowmobile in the bed of the truck. I am ready to hit the road. I've got probably about an hour drive to get back home, but I am completely exhausted. It's about 5 p.m. I'm gonna wait until I get service again, give Allie a call, see if maybe she wants me to bring dinner, see kind of what the plans are. Whew. What a fun day though. It's definitely worth it. When it snows this much, or you live in a place that snows this much, you've gotta do stuff like go snowmobiling or skiing. Just enjoy the snow, so. All right, well. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow the golden. golden. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Golden Wave wins. with your gloves. Gold hair, gold rings. 
Well guys, it is a new day. As you guys saw yesterday, I had a boatload of fun snowmobiling with John Scott and a couple of his buddies. And it was just a great time. And I actually ended up picking up some Chinese food, came back, brought it here to Allie who had been working really hard. And uh, we had a nice quiet evening and forgot to get the camera back out. So here we are the next day. The snow is piling up on the deck and our trusty Honda snowblower is out there just waiting to be cleared off and ready to start snow blowing the deck. So I'm gonna go get it started and get it going. And then Allie's gonna go out there and actually run the Honda snowblower and take care of the deck or as much as we can. Ready to get to work? Yes. <laughs> All right, Honda. Show me what you're working with. What you got. Honestly, on days like this where it's, the sun is trying to come out, so it feels like a bright, beautiful, snowy winter day. Um, it's amazing. The roads are quiet. Obviously the snowblower is loud in the background right now, but there's no traffic. Everyone's just hunkered down. You can smell uh, wood burning stove smells from everyone's cabins. It's just, it's a very cozy feeling. But we're gonna finish snow blowing, cleaning up a little bit and then just enjoying this uh, winter day. feet raindrops falling on the street i can't recall when i last saw the sun summer's just a memory a faded piece of history no one can remember all the fun the late night barbecue zipping on a genie juice Well, it's a lot nicer with this snowblower than the last one. But the last snowblower, our Cub Cadet, went to Brandon's house, and Brandon got like 15 inches of snow the other day, and he was using that thing, and he said that it was absolutely amazing at his house. It was. <laughs> yeah? Absolutely perfect. Everyone's, Everyone's getting it this year. <laughs> Any day now, we're gonna have our last snow of the season. It's gonna all melt. We're gonna be heading into summertime. Keeping my fingers crossed. <laughs> anyway, it is uh, super cold out here. The heater is on in the shop. And so we are gonna head out and start getting to work doing some plumbing and electrical because that's pretty much all we have left to do before our four way. All right, you're through. Yeah, you're moving really slowly now. So these holes are at a little bit of a weird angle and a little bit tight. So they're having to really push the hose through the hole and uh, it's becoming goes. increasingly difficult. What was the issue? Just took a little finesse. Our, uh, our spade bit didn't really drill a perfectly straight hole. Mm -hmm. Kind of did like this weird curved thing. That's what bent the spade bit in the last mm -hmm. video. So now we got it straightened out. Cool. Where we got the pipe through the hole at least. Okay. Six, eight, 
Who do we appreciate? So we're running out of fittings. Uh, what else is new? We don't have everything, but we're gonna try to get creative and I think try to break. Oh my goodness! Oh. Yep, Malika. Oh, good girl. Yeah, Malika's mouth. mouth at Are you okay? Whoa! <laughs> Trent and Brandon have figured out some type of a solution so that we don't have to go buy new white rings or any other fittings. They're gonna push this hose over as far as they can and hopefully finish running the, the lines in that side of the addition. I'm over here, everywhere. I'm over here. Everywhere. It needs like one more inch. Everywhere. You're so close. Oh, it's sticking out by probably a half inch, but that's not enough to get the Upanor on, you know? Getting a leg cramp. Oh no. <laughs> it's a full body workout. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, Matt. <laughs> My butt's tired. <laughs> Alright, let's Was your butt it. hurting when you were hammering? No, I've got buns of steel. <laughs> We got through the wall far enough to get that fitting on there. Now, if you're a plumber and you're like Trent, those holes are too tight, that's gonna cause a problem with that pipe. Save me the stress and anxiety and just don't tell me, please. Cause I don't, I can't handle it. I'm about I'm to the breaking point, okay? I'm gonna get the rest of these fittings on here, get the next pipe thrown through there. We should be able to do all the cold line and hot line fittings, all the pressure pipe in this wall. And then we can start doing the plumbing drain. Once we get the drain all set up, if we have time, we'll go get some more little white things, finish the rest of the pipes to upstairs, and then the plumbing will be done. Wow. I was trying to plan a ski day with some girls for next week, and one of them said, oh, I can't go. My husband and I are gonna be in Hawaii, but you guys are welcome to join us in Hawaii. Like, haha, that's a joke. And all the rest of the girls were like, wait a minute what island what are the dates where are you staying and now everyone is researching to see uh you know what maybe hawaii is a much better idea than skiing maybe it's a much better idea than plumbing let us know in the comments should we take them up on that should we just last minute vacation to hawaii i vote hard yes there's no way Trent and Brandon can no stay way. here. <laughs> I'll take Lika and Leo. Yeah, you take Lika and Leo, we got a deal. Okay. <laughs> Me and Brandon will just, the rock crawler will be done when you get home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Vamos a la playa. Black is the new red. Orange is the new black. Nope, black is the new red. Okay. <laughs> Now I've got some theories about whether this is going to work or not. A little bit. That's cool. I guess there's nothing left to do but to cut this poo pipe open and start smelling our poo for the next hour or so. Don't worry, the glue is about to overpower the smell of the poo in here. Perfect. Perfect. Glue over poo! <laughs> Nickelback's new concert. <laughs> the pipe is empty. It's just smelly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but... The smell is the worst part. I don't mind touching poo, I just don't want to smell it. <laughs> Spoken like a true parent. <laughs> We just mash it into the floor once the floor gets put in place and it'll straighten itself out. You know, I don't think so. The toilet will be a recliner. <laughs> Lazy boy toilet? Oh yeah. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of a crisis averted. We we put this toilet flange on and it was like way too much of an angle. So once we poured the floor, the toilet flange was not gonna sit level in the floor. I'm gonna put this splice, this uh, coupler in here and I'm gonna put that coupler into this fitting here. It's gonna bump the toilet away from the wall an extra like two or three inches, but 
that's a way easier problem to deal with than if the toilet flange is mounted like that. So hopefully after we're done with this, the toilet flange will be sitting pretty level. Mm. Brand new bottle. Of course. 60% of it's on the ground. If that's the worst thing that happens today, that's pretty good. Can't even trap the fumes in here and sing Nickelback. It's just escaping. <laughs> Almost level. It's like very, very close. If you just push on it a little bit, it goes to level. It's maybe like a half inch out instead of like an inch and a half out. So we made that a much better situation. It's also absolutely freezing in here. <laughs> my toes and my knees are really having the time of their lives. <laughs> That's a green day, not Nickelback. Time of, their, time of their life. Time of your life, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, so much. I mean, it might look like an idiot did it. <laughs> it's right there, it's looking really shoddy, but honestly, there's gonna be like a shop sink here in the corner that's gonna go over the top of that, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like, it just matters whether it functions or not. Also, I'm not actually sure if an auto vent can be on an angle like that or if it has to be like vertical, so the inspector will tell me <laughs> and then I will know. And I think probably the next, the next day we work on the van, I mean, <laughs> what? I don't know what happened there. <laughs> the, uh, it's too much glue. Yeah, whoa. Is uh, there a secret project yeah. I don't know about? <laughs> the next day that we work out here, or the next day that we work on the garage, we're definitely going to finish the plumbing. Cool, okay. And then we'll just have to finish running the electrical and we can call for four way. <sighs> Scary. But exciting. It's gonna be a disappointment. It's gonna rain on my parade. I know, what it's gonna I know. Do, but... but it'll be good. Yeah. Well, we devoured our Chinese food. It was absolutely delicious. And uh, I think we're probably gonna call it a night here. We're about to head back up to our house. Thankfully, it's not snowing and the roads are in great shape, but it's a little bit past Leo's bedtime. So I think we're probably gonna hit the road. And I think this is where we're gonna call it for the day for you guys. It's been a fun day. We got a bunch of work done. Um, and I think we're both super nervous about four way uh, and almost trying to stall a little bit, but we can't put it off any longer. We're going to have to call and get an inspection soon, regardless of the outcome. <laughs> yeah, it's very true. And I'm sure they're just going to say, you can't have a truck in here. You can't do this. You can't do that. It's going to be bad. <laughs> we're ready for the lists of can'ts. Yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this adventure, make sure you guys show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys. We love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.